You see, John, what distinguishes you is that you are, quite simply, the best natural code breaker I have ever seen. So, John, no family, no close friends. Why is that? I like to think it's because I'm a lone wolf. But mainly, it's because people don't like me. <laughs> well, there are certain endeavors where your lack of personal connection would be considered an advantage. This is a security yeah. fit. They know me. Have you ever been here? We were told during our initial briefing that these warehouses were abandoned. That's not precisely accurate. By telling you what I'm about to tell you, I'm increasing your security clearance to top secret. Disclosure of secure information can result in imprisonment. You get it? Fun operation. Those are a good idea. This factory is in Berlin. We seized it at the end of the war. Nazi engineers were attempting to build a portable atomic bomb. The Soviets reached this facility before we did, and we lost the damn thing. The routing orders at the Pentagon. They're about this, weren't they? The Soviets aren't as unified as people believe. A faction of the Red Army calling itself Novaya Zavabga, the new freedom, has control of the bomb and intends to detonate it on U.S. soil. Their plan is to incur maximum civilian casualties. Man is capable of as much atrocity as he has imagination. New Freedom has sleeper agents here in the U.S. McCarthy is an idiot, but unfortunately that doesn't make him wrong. New Freedom communicates to its agents through codes embedded in newspapers and magazines. And that's where you come in. You see, John, what distinguishes you is that you are, quite simply, the best natural code breaker I have ever seen. What exactly is it that you would like me to do? Commit this list of periodicals to memory. Scan each new issue, find any hidden codes, decipher them. Place your chin on the chin rest, stare into the light. Pulse 88, regular. Okay, this may be a little uncomfortable. <clears throat> it's got a little zap to it, doesn't it? He just implanted a radium diode. Don't worry, it's safe. The isotope decays predictably. As a result, these numbers change over time. They're the access codes to your drop spot. So what am I now, a little spy?